Hey guys, we're going to carry on with the DC inspired uh, makeup looks. Uh, today we're going to do Batman. I'm going to be using his uh, logo as the inspiration, the black and the yellow. So to start off with, I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer in C5 and the uh, Morphe X Jeffree Star Sponge. We're going to go in with the Conspiracy palette. I don't know if any of you, if any of you guys have got this palette, but this is one of my favourites so far. I'm going to be using my rides here, which is this Jet Black. And I'm going to be using the Morphe M506 for the little blending brush. <laughs> If you are using this black to so make sure you do tap it as you bring it just because otherwise you end up with a lot of fallout <laughs> until you get quite a dark black because as you can see it's quite greyish there so if you keep layering up it you do get a very good black got quite a good base you're going to want to cut in the crease a bit and for that i'm going to use the morphe 224 brush just a concealer brush and going back in with the jeffree star magic star So your creases are cut. I'm going to take the Morphe Pride palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Sunlight and I'm just going to start bringing that just in just to blend out the black a little bit. I'm using for this, I forgot to say, is the MAC 221 brush. And I'm just going to go back in with the M506 and I'm just going to blend in a bit.
From there, I'm going to go back to the Conspiracy palette and I'm going to use the shade Food Videos. And for that, I'm going to use the Morphe M166 brush, just a flat packing brush. Again, to build up the brightness of this shade, you're going to want to keep packing it. Once we're at this stage, I'm then going to take a wipe and just like, clean up the areas. Now I'm going to bring these colours down to the under eye. I'm going to take another one of the MAC 221 brushes and put that back into food videos and blend that out on the bottom. Smashbox brush, precision smudger. It's really good for the under eyes. I'm just going to go back in with the my right here and just blend that just at the bottom to connect the black from the top to the under eye. Just clean up the eye again. So I've been, I've used the tattoo liner from KVJ Beauty. I've just added quite a line on here and I'm just gonna do it on the other side. under eye area of my waterline I use the Everlasting Liner in Scully from KVD Beauty as well and then for the inner corner part of my eye and then later on once the foundation done under my brow bone I'm going to use the shade Diet Global from the Spruce palette just as a um, hint to his like Batarang just like they were always silver and dark silver so I think that colour is going to be a good shade for that so for that I'm just going to take the Morphe 152 brush just a small soft brush foundation and all of that so for my foundation I use these so you've got the primer and the Locusine foundation in light 42 and neutral I mix these to give it a bit of a word, lighter base it's easier to build up that way I'm just gonna go back with my concealer and just conceal under my eyes and sneak all that area up and then I'll be going in with the foundation
the larger of the Morphe X Jeffree Star sponges. So what I do is I do a small amount and then a few pumps from the foundation. And then I just take this, mix it up in my hand and then just pop it all over the face. I do from there is I go back in with a small brush and I use this then just see it like between my nose and just any little bits and creases that I might have missed so I'm just going back over everything just to make sure everything is fully covered so from here, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick, well, Stick Foundation, uh, in the shade Fawn. section at a time just so it doesn't dry down too much. I think I don't know if you can see the difference between this side and this side with the stick. My nose using this brush it is the Morphe E62 and I just use that and this and I just go off my nose slightly that way you only get like a light go over instead of it going on too heavy Jeffree Star powder in the shade translucent. I'm now going to go in with the powder brush from the KVD 10th anniversary collection. And I'm just going to powder my entire face. From there, I'm going to take the shade and light palette from KVD Beauty. And I'm going to take the colour Shadow Play, which is this colour here. And I'm just basically going to go over all my contour and just darken it up. And I'm going to use this co angled contour brush from the 10th anniversary collection as well. shade which is just gonna go in and just go over my face just to give it a bit more powder so I'm now gonna go over my eyebrows using the Kat Von D brow pomade in the shade medium brown <laughs> I'm 
personally, I think that's one of the best brows I've ever done in my life. And I can guarantee I won't do the other side this time. And now I'm just going to go in and neaten up with the 410 brush by Morphe. In here with the Diet Cola shade from the Conspiracy palette. Again, it's a bit of a quite a bright silver, very good for the dramatic look, which is kind of what I'm going for. Because it's to kind of pay homage to the Batarang. Like a glittery highlight to the yellowy area. So I think I'm gonna try. From the Morphe palette, the healing shade, which is this one here. So for that I'm going to use the Morphe 124 brush, which is just a flat packing brush again. So that didn't give me as much of a shine as I wanted. So I'm going to use the Jeffree Star 24 Carat Palette, and it's all just highlighters, and I'm going to try this one here, which is Liberant. So from there we've just got the lips and the rest of the highlighter to do. So I'm going to be using the Soul Sucker shade from the exclusive Halloween Jeffree Star Glow Liquid Lipstick. But first I think I'm going to line my lips with the Scully Everlasting Lip Liner. This is what this shade looks like. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's very glittery. So it says on the box to give it a good shake before use. And then from there, I'm just going to go in with the a blush first. I'm using MAC. And then for the highlight we're going to go in with the 24 karat one. I'm just going to use this colour here. And maybe a hint of this one. This is the finished look. Uh, the camera cut out as I was doing the highlighter. But I don't know if you can just see. I did end up adding some of the gold to it as well just to give it that little extra. But yeah, that's the finished look. Um, let me know which character you'd like to see next. I'm thinking either Batgirl or Harley Quinn. So give me any hints on which other character you might want to see in the future. And make sure we all stay safe at the moment, stay indoors, wash your hands, follow the CDC and the World Health Organization, and just stay safe at the moment, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!